So I'm going to show you today how to check a marine vacuum operated fuel pump. You can see on the back there's your hole and it's, it's really not like vacuum. It's uh, it's more of pulsing of the engine. That little material you can see inside that's your diaphragm and these are your two uh, mounting holes that go against the engine and this is what it's going to look like. Um, these are relatively different as far as uh, layout and whatnot. Some of them have one inlet, two outlets. Uh, they can be uh, like tombstone shaped instead of square, but it's the same principle. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, you're going to need, these are 1024s. You're going to need two of these. And they are, hold on just a second. Sorry about that. These are right at two inches long. So roughly that's what you're gonna need. Uh, you don't really wanna go a whole lot shorter than that. But anyway, so what I like to do, is take these little fender washers. I just like to do one handed. Then I'm gonna put one Put them through there like so. Flip it over. And then I'm using uh, nylon lock nuts. Just put those on there. This is going to be hard to do. Hold on. Sorry about that, but you get them on there, and then I like to take a little nubby screwdriver, and ratchet, and tighten them down. I want to make a note on here. You don't need to really tighten the crap out of these. Um, just snug them down like the uh, the factory bolts were that were holding it to the engine. Um, you do have a gasket here uh, that'll be on the engine side. Don't worry about it. What we're looking for essentially, so now that we've got the sandwich, so it's not going to leak. Sorry, uh, it's not going to leak out around this area here or back here. That just helps squeeze it uh, and maximize your pressure with the surface area. What we're going to be looking for, we're going to put a 